So thus far, we've been talking about getting the right kinds of foods, but are you getting enough water? In this video, we'll explore how to know if you're getting enough water and other facts about water. Our body is mostly made of water. 55 to 60% of our body weight comes from water. It also plays roles in dissolving substances in our body, transporting them, starting reactions, lubricating joints, and regulating our body temperature. Our body composition determines how much water we hold, plainly saying muscle holds more water than fat, which is how the in-body works. Generally speaking, we need 12 cups of water every day. If we're eating whole varied foods, four of those cups are coming from our food. The rest can come from drinking water. This number may also fluctuate depending on our activity level and the food we're eating. So for example, if we're working out for a long and hard workout, we may need as much as 24 cups in a day. The weather also plays a role. In a hot, dry climate, you might need more water. Also, salty foods can cause you to have, need more water as well. Think of processed, high sodium foods as negative water intake. So what's with the scale? Water is the reason the scale is not the golden rule when it comes to weight loss. A meal with a lot of carbs will cause your body to retain water, which will increase your body weight for the time being. Your weight can fluctuate four to five pounds in one day. Moving to fluid balance, we want to make sure if we're exercising for a long period of time, more than two hours, we aren't just drinking water. You've probably noticed your sweat is pretty salty. As you work out, you're losing water and sodium, which your body needs, needs to maintain proper function. Your cells cannot maintain their proper shape if they don't have enough sodium. This may be also why you'll experience some cramping from time to time. Using electrolyte replacement drinks can help with that. So that can be Gatorade, Powerade, or even salt tablets. So how do you know if you're getting enough water? A quick easy way, next time you're using the restroom, check out the color of your urine. Using the table we've given you, determine if you're slightly dehydrated or you're doing a good job of getting the right amount of water.